This is Catholic Queen's Park Rugby Football Club on the south side of the city. Actually, it's my local rugby club, to be honest with you. I've been a member here, oh, 40 years or so. The members will be battling for a place at the bar with a tented village of visitors who have come here to enjoy the hospitality, which will not just be Scottish, but incredibly Barbadian as well. Stephen McKinnon is the general manager at the club. We're hosting Camping Ninja, who are a, a budget option for those who come to watch the Commonwealth Games. And um, we've got eight and a half thousand people over the two and a half weeks. Uh, we'll be staying here, and uh, we're catering for them. We're providing entertainment, and uh, generally having a good old carter time of it. Tell me about the connection with Barbados. Yeah, we're playing host to Barbados House. Um, who are an organisation who promote Barbados as a tourist destination and um, we are planning Barbados themed events over the Commonwealth Games, doing promotions and uh, holiday to Barbados, all sorts of grabs. And the man dispensing the Caribbean hospitality is Shane Thomas. There are a few Barbadians who have come up, obviously the players' families have come up, so I know they'll be at Ibrox, they'll be basically there for the Rugby Sevens and a few flags, we're waving the Barbados flags. And the guys are well chuffed to be here, as you know, they got in by default, so they're busy practicing to get up here. So let's hope the guys really perform well. The irony is that the team would need somewhere to train. The great facility is normally here at Carter, but because of the tented village and everything else, you can hardly see a rugby pitch. That is the irony, isn't it? I know, I was just saying that. I've been here before casually, and it's just to see it transformed now into a campground site. It's amazing. And of course, for us being the Barbados, I was really be thousands of people coming through, and it's exactly what we want. We want to be able to just show people what Barbados has to offer in a very small location. Tell them what you're doing. We're both fly siders. I'm working for transport, and my partner's working for spectator services. What is involved then? A transport, making sure the right people get on the right buses, I think. Spectator services, the happy smiley face, checking tickets, being nice, pointing people in the right direction. What makes you want to do this kind of volunteering work? I enjoyed the Olympics. I wanted to do that because it was something amazing that would happen once in my lifetime. As it happens, it's happened again for Glasgow. And I really enjoyed it and wanted to have that experience again. Uh, have you been to Glasgow before? Only for training. So only a few weeks and I'm falling in love with the city already. Really? Yeah, I really am. <laughs> it's not, the weather's not always as nice as this, trust no, me. No, no, but we're relying on Glasgow to provide us with good weather. Looking forward to it. I am really looking forward to it, yes. So what brought you, apart from the Commonwealth Games is the obvious answer, but what made you so enthusiastic about coming We here? both volunteered for the London 2012 Olympics and we had such a great time camping at a rugby club in Wanstead and it was just like one big party and it was just great to be involved in something like that. So we both felt we wanted to be a part of the Commonwealth Games and at this time only I was accepted as a volunteer but we both come up to enjoy the party. So you didn't get a gig? I didn't get a gig, <laughs> no. But I'll be going to see quite a few things. I'm in for some of the athletics, I'm in for the rugby sevens. I'm originally a South African so I'm quite keen to see the South Africans do well at that. And all this at your own expense and, and with doesn't matter. generation. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter, it's part of a holiday. This is the fifth time we've been up to Glasgow so I'm beginning to know it <laughs> and I'm beginning to learn some of the some of the um, like taps off, clothes off. If it, get, if it gets above 12 degrees centigrade, it's taps off apparently. Oh, that's just directed to the gentleman, of course. <laughs> so it's canvas here as far as the eye can see with people arriving by the minute and unfolding yet more tents. You know something? I can remember when this was all fields. It was last Thursday, actually. Seriously though, folks, magnificent thing for the city with sporting clubs around this great conurbation benefiting from what's happening at the Commonwealth Games. Yeah.